I feel like if you were just to go down a whole city block breaking every window, it's a bit pointless because you're just scaring people and you're using fear taxes. That's what our government does. That's how they control us. So if you're going down and you use selective targets, you know, major corporations, banks, you want to put a message out there, you know? I don't think that is effective. I think that makes more of a resistance to our movement. We need to be peaceful and show each other that we can work together and love one another and we don't have to fight anymore. I think self-defense is the only case where violence is appropriate. Could you be defending yourself from a society that you think is corrupt and trying to kill you? Honestly, though, this building is not trying to kill me right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to smash the window. That's, and honestly, instead of destroying the symbols that are already here, Obviously, people are looking for a symbol. Let's create new ones that people can identify with that give them inspiration, hope, motivation to do something better. Why destroy the ones of the past? Yes, people made mistakes or whatever, but those are just symbols. If people want symbols so much, create something beautiful that will mean something to them, that will inspire them. You know, like create, don't destroy. Subversion is a very powerful tool. However, it is the most useful in an of severely oppressed nation. We're not severely oppressed yet. So until that happens, we will have no need for violence to strike against. My, my name is uh, David Hartso. I'm, uh, I'm a Quaker. I've been involved with the nonviolent movement since I met Martin Luther King in uh, 1956. I would love to have a dialogue and discussion with people in the uh, Black Bloc to talk about this. and. I was concerned the other day in the demonstration, all these people with black flags and bandanas and, uh, and, uh, and gas masks, my sense was they didn't really want to relate to any of the rest of us. I would ask that they be willing to, uh, to have some real heart-to-heart -heart discussions and do some strategic thinking. Uh, and if you look at Egypt, you know, I was over there, uh, you know, a year and a half ago, and if you had more than three people on the street, <laughs> the police would come and start beating you up. But by keeping to their nonviolent discipline, the police realized we cannot stop this. If people had started throwing rocks, or if they had guns, uh, you know, the, it would have just become a riot, and the, the police and the military would have won. So let's take a lesson from the Egyptians.